Let's get more now on one of our top stories. The news that as many as 12 more people have come forward with new allegations of abuse against Rolf Harris. Much has been said and written about victims finally being able to report their abuse. But shouldn't we be asking if we're doing enough to protect our children from abusers? Dr Bernard Gallagher is a reader in social work and applied uh, social sciences at Huddersfield University and specialises in child protection. He joins us now from Salford. Uh, Dr Gallagher, uh, good evening to you. Are good we? Evening. Let me ask you that question. Are we doing enough? Well, I think we're doing a fair amount to tackle child sexual abuse and child maltreatment more generally. And we've certainly done a lot more over the last 20 to 30 years. But that said, uh, you know, we're still, there's far more we still need to do. Can you spell out some of those things that we should do then? Well, I think when cases are actually um, do occur, we have to make sure that they're reported to the appropriate authorities and then the, the appropriate authorities investigate them as fully as they need, fully as they need to. So, but those measures all deal with um, detected cases uh, and that's all well and good, but it's of little benefit overall to the victims. I think we need to do much, much more to actually prevent these cases from ha occurring in the first place. How, how, how do we do that? Because one of the things that's uh, just struck me uh, that uh, with these various celebrities, Savile and now Harris, that we've been talking about, in our celebrity-obsessed culture, we have been obsessed in a way with what these celebrities have been doing. But presumably the kind of stuff that you're talking about uh, is very different and is much more likely to happen. Well, yes, I mean, just child sexual abuse alone is a fairly widespread problem. The children's charity in the UK, the NSPCC, carried out a prevalence survey and estimated that something like uh, just over 10% of all children would be victims of contact child sexual abuse. So in a population of you know, 15 million children in the UK, that means 1.5 million children will be sexually abused. Now, a tiny proportion of those have been, and maybe even in the future, will be abused by celebrities, but that's only a drop in the ocean. There's a much more extensive problem. Um, presumably, though, you are encouraged that, to take the Rolf Harris case, more victims have come forward, and we understand from various charities that more people, nothing to do with Harris or Savile or any of the others, but more victims are coming forward. It's as if... Uh, that some dam has been broken and people are more willing to put them through the very difficult process of trying to bring people to justice. Yeah, I mean, there is a, a, a positive aspect to these tragic cases, you know, particularly those involving celebrities, in that uh, people, you know, people are being encouraged to come forward. But I imagine that, that those victims, even those victims, will be a small proportion of all victims. And again, other research has estimated that something like only maybe 5% of child sex abuse cases ever, get, ever become known to child protection agencies. So we have a ma massive problem of actually detecting these cases, let alone preventing them from uh, occurring in the first place. Dr Gallagher, thanks very much for joining us. Thank You're you, welcome. Bernard Gallagher there. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.